Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're gonna do some problems with simple interest. And of course, we gotta get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? We're yeah. Your favorite subject, simple interest problems. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think this is what? fun, huh? Remember, what? if you don't get it down now, huh? you can always come back and do it next semester. Uh-huh, here we go, right there. Simple interest. Now, some people call this formula PERT. That's because I equals PRT, where I is the interest, P is the principal, R is the interest rate, and T is the time in years. Now, in some cases, we take out a loan for 90 days, in which case we have to convert days to years, and that conversion that's used with the simple interest formula is that one year is 360 days. That's because the average of all of our 12 months is 30 days and 30 times 12 is the 360. Well, we all know that in a year, there's 365 days, or actually 365 and a quarter days. That's why every fourth year we have leap year day. Anyway, let's get to work, Charlie, right here. Now, a student takes out an emergency loan for $600 for school supplies. The interest rate is 6% annually. How much interest does a student have to pay after six months. Now, notice here our time is not a full year, it's six months. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, our interest is what we're gonna calculate, right? How much interest does the student have to pay? The principal is 600, the rate as a decimal is 0 0.06, and the time in years, Charlie, six months is how much of a year? Half. That's right, so 0.5 years. And now we use our formula, I equals PRT. Our principal is 600. Our rate as a decimal, 0 0.06. And our time is 0 0.5 for a half. Okay, Charlie, what do you get for that product? 18. That's right, $18. So after six months, the student has to pay how much, Charlie? 18. Six, That's eight. right, $618 total to pay off that loan, right? Because the student has to pay $18 of interest. All right, that's what we just calculated. All right, Charlie, let's do another one. An investor deposits $2,000 into a savings account. The account pays 7% interest annually. What is the principal after two years? Now be careful with this one. Now notice, Charlie, it's every two years, but the, the, there is 7% interest paid annually. That means every year we have to calculate the interest. And because we're putting the money into an account for two years, we have to do two calculations, one after the first year and then one after the second year. Watch, you'll see. We're gonna have to figure out what our interest is, right? Our initial principal is 2,000. The rate as a decimal, Charlie, is what? 0 0.07. That's right. And notice our time is two years, but we have one plus one because we gotta do two calculations. So here we go for the first year, Charlie. I equals PRT. Our principal for the first year is 2,000. Our rate is 0 0.07, and the time is one year. This is for the first year. So what do you get for that product, Charlie? 140. Very nice. So that $140 is the interest earned after the first year. So after the first year, Charlie, what is the principal? 2,140. Very nice there. So let's do the calculation for the second year. I equals PRT. Our new principal is what, Charlie? 2,140. Very nice, our rate is 0 0.07 and our time is one year. This is for the second year. Okay, Charlie, so our earned interest is what? What's that product? 149.80. Very nice there, Charlie, $149.80. So now, this is the interest earned for the second year. So Charlie, what is the total balance after the two years? Remember, it's gotta be 2,140 plus the 149 dollars and 80 cents and so what do you get two thousand two hundred eighty nine dollars and eighty cents very nice there charlie so for the two years there's the principal now how much did the investor actually earn over the two years charlie 289.80 that's right okay not bad all right charlie let's do another one a student needs a 90-day loan for 750 dollars okay the annual interest rate is 18%. Whoo, be careful with that. How much does a student pay the lender 
after 90 days. So the student's going to pay off a loan in 90 days, but let's figure out how much he has to pay, right? He's got to pay some interest plus the amount he borrowed. All right, so we're going to use our simple interest formula. I is what we're going to try to calculate. Principal is 750. Now, what's the rate, Charlie? Remember, it has to be a decimal. And so what is it? 0.18. That's right. Remember, you got to move the decimal two places to the left. And now the time in years. Now here's where we have to be careful because the time we're given is 90 days and that has to be converted into years. And so Charlie, we were told at the beginning of this lecture that one year is how many days? 360. And that's right. So to convert that 90 days to years, it's 90 divided by 360 or it's that fraction of a year. That's another way of thinking about it. So. We're going, to do, we're going to do conversions in the next lecture, by the way, so we'll talk more about this conversion here. Now, so here's our formula. I equals our principal, which is 750, our interest rate, which is 0 0.18, and our time in years. Now, Charlie, what's this quotient? 90 divided by 360. 0.25. 0 0.25. Very nice. And so now we get our product. And what is our product, Charlie? 33.75. That's right. $33.75. So that's how much interest the student has to pay on top of the money that he already borrowed. And so, Charlie, what's the total amount that the student has to pay after the 90 days? 73.75. That's right. You just sum those up and that gives it to you right there. So that completes our simple interest lecture. That was so much fun. I think it's time for us to take a break and relax. We'll see you all again soon.